Hey what's up guys, it's Austin here from Royal Highness Python and in today's video I just looked into the incubator and I noticed I have a baby that has a tied umbilical cord. It could be very detrimental to the baby, it could die, so I'm going to go and save that. Before we get into that cool stuff, huge shout out to SC Reptiles, really like this, this shirt, whole galaxy right here, really nice geometric snake logo. And they're not slacking, on, oh, kind of slacking on the back, they got a little thing over there but Really cool shirt. It's like a jersey, really breathable. Really helps in the warm snake room. So thank you for that. And we're gonna waste no more time and go right into saving that baby. So here's the clutch. It's actually that one that did not prove out to be Het Hypo. And yep, right here is the baby that has the tied umbilicus. And it looks like it's really close to the head, which is a little bit harder to get out, but we'll do our best to get it off. Quick disclaimer, never use scissors. Do not cut any umbilical cords. Never, because you will kill the baby, unless you tie it off with the dental floss or a piece of thread, but never do it. There was a YouTuber who did it on video and even laughed about it after. I do not want to drop any names, but stupid thing to do. Definitely do not do it. Isn't it Chris? Oh, <laughs> Let's just do this. Take the scissors and just throw them the hell out of there. So basically, we're just going to try boop the head a couple of times. See if that will help. Maybe pull a little bit this way. But all you want to do is just push the snake in the direction where the umbilicus cord isn't and the fastest way to get it out. So actually, I'm going to have to go grab those scissors for a second <laughs> to cut the egg. Where did they go? So I found the scissors. Uh, we're just going to make a little cut on the egg just at the top here just to open a little bit up. Try not to cut any veins. It's a little bit more on both sides. Okay, perfect. And now we have a little bit of a bigger opening. And let's just try pulling the snake's head out. I know this might look a little bit graphic. I generally do not like to go and pull snakes out of the egg. But in this case, I'll make an exception because it will save the snake's life. But here we go, just pulling it out. You can see the head right there is wrapped around. Let's see if we can get it out. And perfect. So right there, you can see the umbilical cord is now totally out and is no longer choking the snake. Basically, when the umbilical cord is wrapped, it stops the nutrients from being put into the snake's belly or going into the snake. And basically, it can actually kill the snake if it does go bad because septic shock. Or it could actually just choke out the snake, which would be a horrible thing to happen. So. We saved this guy, or girl right here. It looks to be a vanilla double head hypo clown from that head stamp. Look at this guy quickly too. Make sure there's no other twisted umbilicuses. That one looks good. That one looks good as well. This one right here. It looks really good. Actually, I'm just looking at it right now and I'm noticing that there's not a lot of veins around the top. So instead of pulling the baby out like some other people do, I'm just going to go around and cut just a little bigger window. Be very careful when you're doing this. Try not to cut the snake. It's, that'd be a big no-no. <laughs> but here it looks like we have pastel enchi, maybe pastel enchi vanilla. Got to wait till it colors up a bit. We'll cut this one next. And again, I'm being very careful here. And if you do have veins on the sides, do not cut this because you will just get blood everywhere. But as you can see, there's no veins, all white. And I'm not actually gonna cut this one anymore. Looks really good. This one definitely looks like a vanilla pastel enchi. Take a look at that head. If she wants to show it, or he. Come on, guy. There you go. So there's a pastel vanilla enchi. Definite vanilla pastel enchi. Really nice head stamp. And we'll just do it to this last one here. I'm not gonna mess with this one too much. Already had a tied umbilicus. And we'll just let him get out by himself. Or her. This one once again. And that should be big enough. I don't like to cut the hole too big. But this is more than enough so they can all get out on their own. And later, probably today, I'm gonna go take the egg crate out so that they don't get cut on any of the edges. That's a really good tip because if you do leave them inside, sometimes the snake can get out, tangle itself in these and actually 
hurt itself or kill itself. So definitely something you want to do. And actually, you know what? We'll do that right now. Just move this up a bit. Put these to the side. Just take it straight out. You definitely do not need it anymore. And then you could just go make a little divot and put the babies in. So that's it for this video. We definitely saved the baby's life and hopefully all these come out, eat right away and go to their new homes perfectly. So that's it for today's video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.